segment of Heart Matters. We are here to talk about relationships and so glad to be here. If any, if there's any struggle in America, we have a great deal of struggle with relationships in so many areas. And today our segment is to talk about how perhaps we can help you straighten out one area. We can't do it all at one time, but we can do it bit by bit. So welcome to Heart Matters. Matters. My partner, Mr. Swift is not here, and of course, I told you he'll be back on November the 7th, but I have more than a capable person. I mean more than capable of being able to render to us from on high what God wants to say tonight about our relationships and the state of our hearts and how to fix it. Amen? Amen. We welcome, and would you put your hands together and welcome Reverend Daryl Pollard. Amen. Welcome, Daryl. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, man of God. Pleased to be here. Glad to be here. I'm so glad to have you. Yes. Praise God. Amen. 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 Daryl, I tell you, we go back a little ways, right? Yes, we do. Yeah, yes, relationship, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, platonic, but relationship, yes, right? Because everybody say relationship, all they think about is you know who you jumping in a sack with, but that's not yeah. what we're talking about. No. We're talking about relationships, amen, mm -hmm. of every kind. And today, what we're going to talk about, we're going to tell you about things that help every kind of relationship. Yes. Every relationship is based on some foundations, yes, right? It yes, it is. Amen. 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 Daryl, today we want to talk about sacrifices okay you know sacrifices mm -hmm. uh-huh there mm -hmm. is no relationship without what sacrifices, sacrifices. Yes. amen yes. amen and if you could just you know we usually mr swift try to flow about the guys and i flow with the, about the girls mm -hmm. you know and we always let the men lead praise be to god okay. amen. amen so talk amen. to us a little bit about what relationship uh what sacrifice means to you when it comes to relationship not just platonic we talked about but in particular intimate relationships because that's where i think we get in a lot of trouble okay well um first of all let me say this that uh, what I would be sharing tonight is based on my experiences, what I have observed, and what the Word of God has said to me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, with regards to that. So I hope that what I would say tonight would glorify God Amen. and, of course, uh, personify His Son and be it believer or non-believer, be blessed as a result Amen. of it. Amen. I, 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 I want to begin by saying this, that Relationships have a couple of dynamics that are important. Mm -hmm. And without them, they just don't get off to a good start and certainly don't stay on track. That's Those right. two dynamics principles, if you would, would be humility mm -hmm. and acceptance. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I want to start with those two things for this reason. Without them, there are a lot of things and challenges in relationships that you just can't handle. That's right. Because what happens is, is that in most relationships, personalities, and one's going to emerge, one's going to lead, somebody's got to follow, uh, so forth and so on. And with those kinds of things happening, oftentimes friction is created. Yes. So yes. without humility and without acceptance, uh -huh. you can't handle the friction that's naturally going to come. Okay. We're people, yeah. let's face it. Right. And because we generally, without having to even think, because it's just our nature, we act in a selfish way. Mm -hmm. Now that's not always bad. Because sometimes it's just you by yourself, so you don't have to worry about any, anybody else. But in relationships, there's always somebody else to consider. Right. And so humility and acceptance helps move self out of the way so you can operate in some principles that considers the other person. Amen. Now, well now, now, the sacrifice is this, as we would be talking about sacrifice. That's putting self on the altar. Yeah, Ooh, yes, let, let, let's yes, get sir. self on the altar. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Yeah, let, let's sacrifice uh, me, me, I, I, that kind of a thing, mm -hmm. because it's so easy in a relationship to consider what you want and to just naturally think that what you want is good for the other person as well. We do make that mistake, don't we? Yes, we do. We think that what I want for dinner even is... Yes. Like, yeah, I mean, basic things like that, right? Uh -huh. and and I want to go see such and such a movie. Right. I want to watch such and such a game, right? Exactly. That, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, and if they don't, then we find we find something wrong with that. Sure. But it's really sure. not. Sure. It's really it's not. not. Because yeah. because here's, here's what happens with the sacrifice when you put self on the altar, mm -hmm. as I've said. 
then you open yourself up through, through those uh, two dynamics to consider the other person. Mm -hmm. But you become thoughtful. Mm -hmm. You become mindful that there's somebody else in disagreement with me. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. I'm not in this agreement by myself. Right, right. Yeah, and right. then you begin to look for ways to pull that person in mm -hmm. further into the agreement. And so you start to consider them. You start to think, okay, and you start to ask, okay, hey, what do you think about this? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. Did I do this or did I do that? And was that okay? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and here's the deal about sacrifices. Sacrifices always have a reward on the other side. Don't now, go, go, don't, don't go too far ahead of me. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Know, I want to talk Amen. about some practical ways because somebody yeah. looking at us, they'll say, well, what does that mean to put yourself on the altar? What yeah. does that mean in layman's term? What does that actually, we know altar always represent offering yes. in order to give up something to uh, relinquish something in yeah. order to get something in exchange, right? Right. Right, right. And, and many times today we have people who say, well, I want some me time. Uh -uh, uh -huh. It's me time. Mm -hmm. I've never heard so many people say me time in all my life. Mm -hmm. Everybody just want time today. What? Self. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, everybody. In the old days, you could, they were almost inseparable. Right. Mm -hmm. they, you see one riding, you see the other one riding. You see one shopping, you see one sitting in the seat while she's <laughs> wishing she hurry up, you mm -hmm. know. And today we don't see that anymore. Mm -hmm. So relinquishing some me time is mm -hmm. one of the ways that we can do what? Sacrifice. Yes. And you know, yeah. women, we, yeah, yeah, women, we gotta, we even, we used to didn't do that. We used to want to be close to our man and up under our man mm -hmm. and around our man and with our man. But today it's like, I need some me time. Just, mm -hmm. you know, don't want to cook, don't want to wash, don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but, but it, men do the same thing though. Yes, because of Because they want the me, me time. But the word mm -hmm. of God encouraged us to spend time together, mm -hmm. not to forsake, to come together. Now people use that just for a church lingo, but that's in every situation where there's relationship. Mm -hmm. All relationships have to have a time of quality time yeah. and a time of coming together in order to implement that quality time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Amen. Well, you, you mentioned sacrifice being offering something. Mm -hmm. And in a relationship, obviously a person wants something from you, mm -hmm. but you have to put yourself in a place to make yourself available mm -hmm. to that person. That's good. That's good. And, 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 and I can't get away from acceptance and humility. Mm -hmm. I can't get away from those two principles because what flows from that are, 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 are a lot of the things that you need to be able to operate in a relationship with someone else, especially if someone needing something from you. We are in relationships because uh, I want this or you want that. Mm -hmm. And that mutual exchange helps us just to be better as one. As one. And, and that's not only in the intimate sense. That's, that's for brothers. Intimate. That's for sisters, cousins, whatever yeah. the case may yeah, be. Absolutely. But, but again, the sacrifice and the offering is about being able to make yourself available. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and, and, and I want to add something else to this as well. Uh, healthy relationships start with healthy people. Yes, yes. Broken Hel yeah. people can't yeah. get together and start yeah. to be healthy. Healthy relationships right. start with. That's so, right. so, so, what is health coming into a relationship? Well, it's being in a good place, not only physically and mentally, but more importantly, spiritually. Yes, yes, it's, yes. It's about being able to operate in some healthy principles yes. that would get you the, 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 the benefit of the result that you want. That's right. Oftentimes, That's right. when you see two people come together and they're very, very happy and you know them to have a spiritual foundation, mm -hmm. you'll know that each one of them is probably a healthy person yes. in the places that I've just That's mentioned. So it's very important. Bef and, and let me say this. A lot of times we get into relationships mm -hmm. based on our senses, mm -hmm. what I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Uh, uh, you see things that are nice and, and you can have things that are nice. Mm -hmm. God says he'll give you the desires of your heart. Right. Okay. But we get into relationships a lot of times through our senses and we don't take into account, but am I healthy enough to partake Ooh, of this. That's good. That's good. Yes. That's real and, good. That's real good. Yeah, that's and, real and good. And I, I don't think I yeah. don't think that we consider that whether or not we are healthy when we simply focus on self. Right. What I want and how I feel right. and how you can meet my needs. Right. 
uh, that's probably an unhealthy approach to start that with. That brings me to the next thing that I, one of the practical things. I got this from thegirls.com. So we we walking through the you know these little points today because uh, mm -hmm. sometimes you just got to come out the traditional way of approaching things. Amen. Yeah. And so so it says seeing or doing something that you don't really enjoy for the sake of making your mate happy. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I like what you said. You have to ha have a healthy perspective sure. of who you are, where you are, of who the other person is. Yes. Because if not, if you don't have a healthy perspective, you're not going to engage in anything like that. Yeah. My man might like football. Right. But because I don't like it, I don't want him to watch it. That, th that's yeah. That's not a healthy place to be no. in. Exactly. Or I'm distracting during the game. That's not a healthy place to right. be in, especially right. when I know he likes that game. Mm -hmm. Likewise, when what? With women, mm -hmm. when they're doing what they do, and men try to distract them mm -hmm. from doing what they do. Amen? And, and so the bottom line is that when you have a healthy relationship, yes. you know how to relinquish the me time, but you also know how to enjoy time with that person and yeah. things that make them happy. Yes, yes. Yeah. Because yes. the Bible says prefer others more than yourself. Yeah. And and a healthy, yes, and a healthy spirit uh, will give way to a healthy attitude. Yes, yes. So if you like watching crime dramas 24-7, mm -hmm. if I've got a healthy spirit, <laughs> my, <laughs> my attitude can be such that, well, I can sit and partake of that with you mm -hmm. and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Spiritual health uh, is so important. It it's is. all important it because that's where your attitude, that's where your tone of voice is yes. going to be yes. coming from. Yes. That's where your body language is going yes. to be emanating yes. from. And all of these things can be either turn on or turn off. That's right. So you have to have that healthy foundation yes. in a relationship in order for it to grow strong and to prosper. Absolutely. Amen. I want to say one other thing, too, because I can't get away from this. You don't have a healthy attitude or a right attitude unless you are operating in one of those two principles, acceptance or forgiveness. Uh, I mean, acceptance humility. or humility. Mm -hmm. Because when you're operating in humility, it gives way to a right attitude. That's right. You can humble yourself yeah. enough to watch something you know you don't like. Right, right, <laughs> exactly, exactly. But because you're watching it with something you do like. Oh, yeah. come on, man. Hey, come man. on, come on. Yeah. Yes. Eventually, what happens because you've brought that attitude and that spirit, then somewhere along there, you start enjoying it too. That's yeah, right. yeah, that's and good. And the other that's person good. senses that you're enjoying it with them. That's good. And that's what I'm talking about good health in a relationship. You know, my next point was going to be on attitudes, dealing with people uh -oh. when they have bad attitudes. I, I love, we flow like this yes. all the time. Yes. All the time. We just, if we can be on the phone and there's, yeah. it's going to happen course. like this. We can of be course. at the house with the guys yeah. because he has a home for re entry. Yeah. And it, it just flows transitional like living. Yeah, transitional living. Exactly. Yes. So you know, the bottom line is that is that the uh, 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 when you're he humble. Yeah. Right. Yes. You can deal with a bad attitude. Yes, you can. You don't have to get angry because the other person get angry. Right. My dad used That's to put it in very plain English. Mm -hmm. You don't have to act a fool because somebody else acting a fool. That's right. right. You know, That's right. and right. they may not be acting a fool. They may just have a, a bad day mm -hmm. or trying to mentally digest something mm -hmm. or just things just not right and they need some space. You understand what I'm right. saying? The real deal is that when you have humility and acceptance, yes. then you understand this is how he acts because he has to go into his man cave for a moment. Right. Hello. Mm -hmm. Until he can process things and mm -hmm. then he'll come out and share it with me. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to keep bothering him mm -hmm. and badgering him mm -hmm. about talk to me. What's on your mind? Tell me what you're thinking. What's wrong with you? Why are you not talking? Everybody know that game. All girls know that game. That is not the healthy way of approaching that. Exactly. And likewise, vice versa. Men, when men talk to us, they're looking for a answer, and they want to know if, if they can help, or do you, or do we just need them to vent? And we want to go all around what around the bush before mm -hmm. we get there. Okay, that's from the girls' take, but men have their own way of approaching it with the mm -hmm. bad attitudes. Okay, mm -hmm. and the real deal is that. 
that when you are healthy and you are humble and you are um, uh, accepting a person, mm -hmm. yes. you give them that time to think, you give sure. them that time to vent, you give them that time to be them. Because if you can't be you at home, where can you be you? Yes. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, where can you be you? So the bottom line, you give them that time and then you come back and, well, you agree that you can come and what? Come mm -hmm. together yes. or down the line come and resolve that issue yeah. or work through the process. Yeah. As, a, as a male, uh, I am learning continuously. Uh, we are put together and built, so to speak, to lead, to take charge, to give orders, to solve problems, so forth and so on. And uh, I won't call it aggression, I'll call it assertiveness. Mm -hmm. And in that assertiveness, sometimes we can give off a vibe or a spirit uh, that says, you need to listen to me. Uh, you need to follow me. You need to do as I say do, so forth and so on. And I think we have to be very careful right there and, 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 and try and work more from the perspective of equality yeah. in the vibe mm -hmm. and in the spirit, mm -hmm. such as asking is would you like to uh, partake of this? Would you like to participate in this? But more importantly, asking an opinion about a decision. Mm -hmm. I think when you do that, you invite a person in on an equal footing. Mm -hmm. and, and, and at that point, you're helping a person to really grow, flourish in the relationship and not feel that they have a place, mm -hmm. but rather that they are in the place that they need to be mm -hmm. in the relationship so that the Bible says two get a better return mm -hmm. than one. And when you encourage a person in their individuality, just because you're a man and you may have all of the things that makes you all's life enjoyable, but still you have to draw a person in with a spirit that makes them feel that they are equal to you in as many ways as possible. Submission will come out of that yes. if you just do that. If you do because it the right way, because yes. we are put together in such a way mm -hmm. as once we are in our place, mm -hmm. we will operate there with all of the peace and harmony yes. that God has designed for us to mm -hmm. engage one another. That's but I think good. men have to be careful of how they present themselves in the relationship so that the, the, the so that their counterpart, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the woman Mm -hmm. would feel comfortable enough to flourish and just be who she naturally is in the way God has designed her to be so right. that you all can get the best return in the relationship. More peace, more happiness, more love, and all of the other things that comes with a healthy relationship. Right, that is my next scripture. It uh -oh. says, love must be sincere. Yeah. Hate what is evil and cling to what is good. Then it says, be devoted one to another. Yes. Honor one another Come above on. yourself. Come on. Come on. Making that person feel valuable. Yes. Important. Making them feel significant. I didn't read these notes. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know when I last heard, heard or talked to you, right? Okay. Anyway, the bottom yeah. line is that when we yeah. honor one another, yeah. then we allow the other person to have input in things. Yes. We're not leading with the iron fist. Right. Or with um with a uh, a controlling mentality. Exactly. Uh, and I, actually, it, it, men or women can have Jezebel spirits, right? Uh -huh. Because it's a spirit. Yeah. And so we have to be careful. The truth of the matter, if I talk to you gently and ask you for your input, one time out of ten, you're gonna tell me however I see it anyway. Uh -huh. that, that, and that's the part that we miss. Yeah. We miss, and, and then if you say no, then I need to take consideration that you have a reason for saying no mm -hmm. and not just get upset, but instead I need to investigate. Mm -hmm. Well, can you tell me why you say no or why you feel that way? Mm -hmm. Or maybe you might know something I don't know, mm -hmm. you know, and that goes both ways. Mm -hmm. So we need to be mindful of that in relationships, and especially marital relationships, yes. we have to honor one another. But mm -hmm. in platonic relationships, sure. To the sister, we need to honor one another. Right. Sure. Nobody has the mark on it all. That's right. Nobody is all knowing but God Himself. Yes. And because of that, we have to leave leave, leave way to be able to have the other person to educate us in yeah. areas. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the next one. We look okay. moving right along. Some of your friends' time. You know, the girls like to hang out with the girls, and the boys like to hang out with the girls. But I'm gonna say one thing that in my past that I was guilty of. Mm -hmm. And that was when my mate would walk in the house, if I was on the phone, I wouldn't get off. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, if you are guilty of that, like I used to be, don't do that. When your mate walks in the door, it is time to wrap up your conversation mm -hmm. and give way to that mate mm -hmm. because that mate has come home to you mm -hmm. to see you to spend time with you mm -hmm. and to eat or whatever it is y'all going to do for the evening. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we must know that there is a time to tell the fellas bye-bye and tell the girls bye-bye mm -hmm. and spend that quality time together. Amen. Yeah. Everybody who knows me and have uh, uh, talked with me uh, perhaps has been on the phone with me when I've entered into my home. And each of those persons would have heard me say, okay, well, look, I'm, I'm at home now. <laughs> And my family is here, so let me turn my attention now to what's going on in the house. That's you. You've heard That's me you. say that. That's you. That's you all day You've long. You've heard That's me you. say that. That's right. Because relationships have boundaries as well. They have boundaries. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and there are priorities and then there are values. And there's a lot of things that we, or words that we could use right there. But I think the word that I would be looking for is respect. Yes. Yes. Making a person yes. feel respected. respected. Exactly. 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 And, and, and in that, exactly. also making them feel valued. Yeah. When you stop what you're doing and say, hey, my attention needs to be here. Right. I right. need to go here with my focus. Right. Because this is where I'm in, at in my presence. Right. Right. Yeah. And that should be whatever yeah. area we enter in. I don't have a mate, but in the meantime, when I enter into my church, when I enter yeah. into a, the presence of another person sure. and those, that kind of thing, I say, okay, I've arrived at my destination, mm -hmm. and so let me get back to you. We mm -hmm. have to learn to respect the person right. that we're with and, 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 and make sure that they feel that sense of, I care about you, yes. you're important to me, and whatever mm -hmm. I've come to you for, mm -hmm. then now, or over or come to and now that I've come to you I need to not only come to you for what I want from you but for what you need from me that's it. okay that's, that's it. it that's it all right the other one is about flirting with other people okay. now, now, now you know that's out of a worldly thing right flirting mm -hmm. with other folks mm -hmm. and I think the Bible sums it up really good mm -hmm. he said it to look on a woman with lust in his heart is sin yes mm -hmm. yeah. that's the same way with women too mm-hmm People fall out because people's eyes go in different directions when they're with their mate. Yes. The truth is about the matter. When you look at everybody, you should see them as Christ sees them. Mm -hmm. Even when you're shopping. Mm -hmm. Hello. Right, right. Yeah, even when you're shopping, you should, even when you're single, hello, mm -hmm. you should, I know she can look good, you know, 20, 36, mm -hmm. 24, 36, whatever the case is. But in the meantime, and let your carnality not take over. Right. And see her for that which she is supposed to be seen. Mm -hmm. And that is as a woman of God mm -hmm. or someone that is, is valuable and mm -hmm. not a piece of meat, for yeah. lack of a better term. We, we live in a society where shock value is off the charts. Uh, we perhaps have the, the strongest... Uh, advertising yes of, of things uh, you've ever seen and sex sells everything everything sex sells everything but I believe this I believe that you have to start again with your basic healthy relationship and not with one another but with Christ, with Christ. there we go there we go let's bring it on home. because because it is in moments like that that I feel I feel that your groundedness in him yes will rise up that's right. so that your flesh doesn't overtake you in that's moments it. like that's that. That's it. That's it. That's good. That's good. That's good. And I think that just sums it up. When you have when you right relationship with Christ, you yes. will have right relationships with everybody. That's it. And I'm real good about mm -hmm. putting a handle. Brother so-and-so, Pop mm -hmm. so-and-so, I mm -hmm. just call dad, bishop, or, mm -hmm. uh, whoever. I put a handle on almost everybody. Sister so-and-so. Mm -hmm. I put a handle almost on everybody. And that keeps Thing, that keeps the boundary. Yes. That keeps the boundary. And that mm -hmm. gives me the control of whether I want you to come any further or not. Yes. And so yes. we have to learn to do that. And that also allows them to know that they can only go so far. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Well, we're running out of time, and we could go on, obviously, about True. this, right, forever. But, uh, you know, we have to get out of selfishness, getting exactly yeah. what we want. That's it. It's got to be what uh, what I want. And we have to, it has to be what we want, what's mm -hmm. best for the team together. Amen. Yes. Daryl, we only got a few minutes minutes and I want you to wrap us up the okay. last thing would be uh, things that make them uncomfortable and then after you give us that you see that time I want you to 
give mm -hmm. some good advice out there for folks who need to know what to do. Things that make you made uncomfortable. Right, right. Well, that's about change. Yeah. It's some things that you may have to change. Because one of the things that I've come to understand is that if you value a person, mm -hmm. then you're willing to do what it takes to Ooh, show them you that you value you them. You better talk to me. We and ought so, to have hand claps everywhere and, in the and, house. And so, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the things in, in relationships that's probably paramount with regards to that is the things that you say out of your mouth. Right. You need to really guard your tongue mm. because words have power. Yes, they and do. And you can often build a person up or crush, crush their them. spirit. That's right. And not only by what you say to them, but what they hear you say to others. That's right. Or how about you them. Speak That's in right. General. About them. And That's so right. I think the, everybody should be willing to undergo whatever amount of change is necessary because, again, in a relationship, and of course the Bible says to become one, mm -hmm. but whether it's brother to brother or sister to sister, mm -hmm. if I love you, if I'm honoring you, and if I'm valuing what we have, then I'm willing to make the adjustments. I say change, and that's going to be hard for some people. Right. Let's call it adjustment for those people who can right. handle that a little that's better. Right. But you should be willing to make some judgment because, after all, it's two moving yes. parts. Yes. Yes. And so sometimes that requires adjustment so that those two parts can move in synchronicity, if I could use that Absolutely. word, with one another. Absolutely. In one minute, can you pray for those? Look at that camera and pray for those who are struggling in any type of race. Whether you are a believer or non-believer, you're going to have some relationship challenges. You have to start with some principles, and that starts in the Word of God. Just let me say this. Right now, for everybody who is listening, you're going through some challenges. Start with prayer. Pray about it. Ask God about it. And I would be praying for you right now. Whatever spirits that are there that are trying to separate, that are causing division, I ask you right, I ask right now in the name of Jesus that those spirits be brought up under the yes. blood of Christ yes. so that there be no division, separation. And yes. I ask for a regulated mind yes. so that uh, 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 the spirit of humility, the spirit of acceptance yes. can begin to emanate from your mind and yes. your heart so that there might be peace in your relationship, wholeness and, and, and wellness in your relationship, and that your souls would be healthy, your bodies would be healthy, and everything that you touch would be healthy as well because Amen. you are healthy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining Heart Matters tonight. We are so glad that you tuned in. And we pray that you will watch us every Monday night at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. We air this show. We want you to write us at the information on the screen. We want you to contact us. And we want you to become a ministry partner as we use the word of God to help restore healthy relationships in America. God bless you and have a great day.